Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. The nuggets of wisdom that we consume each day provides us with the nourishment for our minds, which allows us to think differently and allows us to change our lives. And then it allows us to have an impact on the lives of everyone that we have contact with. Because of this, we can remain on the trail of creating a living legacy. This is day 53 of our trek, and today we're going to review the 10 tenets of Mother Teresa, along with other wisdom nuggets that she left as part of her legacy. We are recording our podcast today from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. This week finds us preparing for a sizable yard sale on Saturday. While I'm not a garage or yard sale person, we do need to declutter our house and garage of some of the things that we have collected over the years. At least we'll make a small dent in it. We are also preparing to sand the wood floors in our eating area. Hopefully I'll be able to seal it with polyurethane this weekend. On our trek two days ago, we were unexpectedly caught in a violent storm that washed out the trail before us. We learned that we have to deal with the issues of life as they are, not as we expect or desire them to be. Yesterday, we were able to construct a crude bridge over the chasm because we had planned properly and brought the tools that were needed. We learned that there are no guarantees in life, but we do have to plan the best that we can so that when the storms of life do hit, we can weather them with minimal long-term impact. Let's continue on today helping each other along the trail that is now much rougher due to the storms than it would have been otherwise. As we lend a hand to each other, mile after rugged mile, it brings to mind a person that has helped so many people with her sacrificial life, and that is Mother Teresa. I have studied a little bit about her life. In most instances, the reports of her work is one of self-sacrifice and pouring her life into others. As with any of us, she was not without her detractors, but she did not allow that to dissuade her. As my virtual mentor Zig Ziglar would put it, don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people have is when they take a bite out of you. So let's get back to Mother Teresa. Personally, I am a Protestant and was not raised as a Catholic. Therefore, I may not agree with some of the Catholic teachings, but I have come to understand that our service to God is one of the heart, not one of following certain denominational practices. Mother Teresa was best known for her sacrificial love and helping others in the slums of India and elsewhere in the world. Mother Teresa would describe on the biography.website in the following manner. For her unwavering commitment to aiding those most in need, Mother Teresa stands out as one of the greatest humanitarians of the 20th century. She combined profound empathy and a fervent commitment to her cause with incredible organizational and management skills that allowed her to develop a vast and effective international organization of missionaries that helped impoverished citizens all over the globe. However, despite the enormous scale of her charitable activities and the millions of lives that she touched, to her dying day she held only the most humble conception of her own achievements, summing up her life in characteristically self-effacing fashion. And going on from what I've studied, she was also known for her down-to-earth practical wisdom and sage advice. Today, we want to look at her 10 tenets and a few other of her profound quotes. As I read through these, take time to ponder them and consume them, and then allow these truths to permeate your life and make a change on how you interact and treat other people. Number one, people are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. Number two, if you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Do good anyway. Number three, if you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. Number four, the good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Number five, honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. Number six, the biggest men and women with their biggest ideas can be shut down by the smallest men and women with the smallest of minds. Think big anyway. Number seven, people favor underdogs but follow only top dogs. Fight for the few underdogs anyway. Number eight, what you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. Number nine, people really need your help but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. And number 10, give the world the best that you have and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. These 10 tenets are some great points to consider and to put into practice in our lives. Here are a few more thoughts from Mother Teresa that are worth considering. We must never get into the habit of being preoccupied with the future. There is no reason to do so. God is there. Next, to keep a lamp burning, we have to keep putting oil in it. 
If you spend your time judging others, you don't have time to love them. And the last one, be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. As we compare the life of Mother Teresa to the scriptures, we see that her life is reflected in the teachings of Christ. I feel one of the passages that best describes this is 1 John chapter 2, verses 7-11, through 11, which is titled, A New Commandment. Dear friends, I'm not writing a new commandment for you, but rather it is an old one that you have had from the very beginning. This old commandment, to love one another, is the same message that you heard before. Yet it is also new. Jesus lived the truth of this commandment, and you are also living it. For the darkness is disappearing, and the true light is already shining. If anyone claims, I am living in the light, but hates his fellow believer, that person is still in darkness. Anyone who loves a fellow believer is living in the light and does not cause other people to stumble. But anyone who hates a fellow believer is still living and walking in darkness. Such a person does not know the way to go, having been blinded by their own darkness. And from this passage, I have two final thoughts from Mother Teresa and observe how closely they align with the scriptures above. The first one is, it is easy to love people far away. It is not always easy to love those close to us. It is easier to give a cup of rice to relieve hunger than to relieve the loneliness and pain of someone unloved in your own home. Bring love into your home, for this is where our love for each other must start. And then the second one, spread love everywhere you go. First of all, in your own house. Give love to your children, to your wife or husband, to the neighbor next door. Let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. Be the living expression of God's kindness, kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, kindness in your smile, kindness in your warm greeting. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. And the question for tomorrow is, how heavy is your glass? And we will see the consequences of stress. So please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And if you enjoy this daily dose of wisdom, these little wisdom nuggets that I provide each day, I encourage you to help us out in the following five ways. Number one, leave your name and email address at the website at the bottom right-hand corner of any page or on the Daily Journal page. This will allow us to update you with special events and information from Wisdom Trek. Number two, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com in the comment fields. Three, please subscribe to iTunes or Stitcher so it will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Four, please leave us a rating so that we can gain exposure and spread the word to others about Wisdom Trek. And number five, Share with your family and friends to journey with us on our Wisdom Trek. Thank you for allowing me to serve you each day in this way. I really do appreciate it. Now, the journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where you'll also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and other free resources. As we take our trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.